G'day, it's Ross from Swag Campers, and we're about to open one of our awnings on the SCT range that are universal across all of them. But before we wind it out, we must make sure the fridge is pushed away because we'll need to get the leg out. The windows can stay open, but the door must be closed as well. So we'll grab our little handle here that lives up beside the fridge and we'll turn it into a Z shape with the control points on here. So we'll go back and shut the door. That's it, and then attach the handle to the mechanism up in here. Grab each side of rod and we can wind it out about just a little over halfway because the supporting arms there are strong enough to support the weight that's in the awning, not that there's much weight in it. As you're winding it out, it, it, it drops down lower, so that's why we have to shut the door, but the window can stay open. In each corner are our legs, so they sit in a little bracket up here, but you must remember to just slide your finger up there and pull that knuckle out so that you don't damage it when you drop it down. Then you hold the outside, release the lock, adjust it up a little bit, and then just close the lock off and it'll sit there by itself. Same up this end, pull that leg out from here, slide your finger in to get the knuckle out, hold the outside frame, undo the lock, put the arm down, just put it out that way, not too far, it'll slide away, about there, and then we'll go for another wind. It's 2.4 metres wide, so there's, there's plenty of room once they're out, they're a big awning. That's probably far enough. It's easier one man job, you don't need two to do it. Wind it out until it just sags, you'll see it sag, it'll go past the point and it'll just droop. Out there, that's it. And then just wind it back to take the tension. And that's it, she's 2.4 metres of shade. And then you can, if you want to adjust it, if it's raining and you want to catch a bit of water down this end, just drop it down like that, or whatever height that you want to do.